What's up guys? So today I decided that we're going to do a little walkthrough through this new Bud K catalog. That's right, Bud K. Um, it's been a while since I did, you know, one of these and I, I could do this stuff all the time. It's just, it really just comes down to my mood. You know, I, I'll, I'll get a Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog or something, I'll set it aside. I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I'll do a video walking through it a little bit, talking about some different things, knives and stuff. And, and then I just don't remember to do it. I, you know, I put it aside, I look at it <laughs> and I'm throwing it out and forgetting. Uh, but I made a point to set this one aside to take a look at. So we're basically just looking through it. If you're not familiar, uh, Bud K Worldwide, they just sell a variety of stuff. Um, usually some cheaper Mall Ninja type knives, you know, but they have some decent stuff. They have a, such a variety of things too. It's not just knives. That's what makes it kind of extra fun. Uh, but this is like every 13 year old boy's dream. It's just cool stuff. Anything you would think is cool as like a little kid or teenager, um, it's in here. And uh, most times it's not practical. Most times it's not stuff you can actually really use, but it makes you feel cool and you want it anyway. And even though I'm in my 30s, there's still stuff in here I want. Like right off the bat on the cover here, we have basically a fake flashbang. I want it. Why do I want that? I have no idea. I would never use it for anything. I mean, it'd be kind of cool if you're like really into paintballing or something. You can use this as like, a, I don't know, an indicator for something or I don't really know. But I know if uh, I was 13 again, I'd be ordering it, you know, and I'd be out in the woods setting it off and it would blow up or whatever and make noise and I'd go, woohoo, and think it's cool. <laughs> so that's where we start the cover, this Valken Tactical Thunder 130 decibel sound grenade. So these are powered by 12 gauge CO2 cartridges, burst shells, 130 decibel boom is well beyond pain threshold. Um... Mimics military and police flashbangs. Well, it seems like there's going to be a bang. I don't know about a flash. 12 shells, one core. So I'm not really sure. I'm assuming, because these are CO2, I'm assuming, you know, you would use it like a real grenade, and you'd pull the pin, and when you let go of it, it would probably pierce the, the uh, CO2 cartridge, which would build pressure quickly. And I'm assuming that this actual shell is maybe plastic. It couldn't possibly be like, you know, anything like aluminum or metal because then it would create shrapnel and that would be obviously extremely dangerous and it'd be an explosive device, right? So I'm assuming this is maybe like a very hard plastic and the idea is, you know, you pull a pin, you throw it or you squeeze it once to crack it and throw it, whatever it is, it builds up pressure and then I'm, I'm assuming that at some point either it's controlled and it'll just blow out the bottom or something, but it'll, it'll pop, basically. That's it, it'll be a pop, which is very loud and sounds like a little mini grenade. All right, so right off the bat, we got a couple of stilettos here, $59.99. There's a wood one and a faux pearl one. Um, yeah, these are cool. I mean, Italian, uh, you know, pick stilettos. They're, they're neat. They're fun. It's a classic design you see in a ton of movies and you'd want just because they're cool. I can tell you that I've carried and used them. Um, very, very cheap ones to, like, you know, nice Frank B's from Italy. And, uh, you know, they're not great. At, I mean, they cut stuff. Every knife cuts stuff. But that very uh, slim, thicker, stiletto-style blade is uh, probably great for stabbing people and stuff. But, uh, you know, utility work, not so much. Um, so, let's see. We have a Havoc. Of course, there's a million and one of these little, you know, utility knife holders. I'm actually going to do a video soon. I want to compare. I have a Gerber one, which I really, really do love. And I'm comparing it with another uh, random one that's, you know, somewhat similar to that. But they're very handy. You know, there's a lot of people who see the value in carrying a knife, but they don't want to carry something like you know, this nice little trapper here, you know, or something super tactical or even super expensive. This is 13 bucks and it's just cheap, you know, but it works. <laughs> it always works. And when it gets dull, guess what? You flip the blade around. And when that side gets dull, you throw it out and you buy a five pack for like six bucks or something. Um, I love the medieval type stuff here. Here's a little uh, set. So we have our blade, our blacksmith blade. It looks like a little poker. So you can use that to just basically stab your meat. So you can cut and stab. It's got the little sheath with it. That's pretty neat. For 20 bucks, if I was 13, I'd want something like that. Swords, I never really got into swords. People ask me all the time, Jeff, where's the swords videos, man? You gotta be cutting watermelons and stuff. It'd be a lot of fun. I'm sure it would be. If I had a, a genuine sword, you know, something cold steel or, or something custom, or, you know, but I just never got into swords. And I'll, I'll be honest, it just has to do with the room. I love the idea of a sword. I love, you know, swinging my little pocket knives. I love swinging, you know, fixed blades. I'm sure I love swinging a giant fixed blade in the way of a sword. 
It's just one of those things. I just never had the room for them, so I never got into them. Uh, plus, I mean, all these cheap swords, they're, they're wall hangers. You know, if you actually start hitting stuff, they're going to dent and ding and break and crack and, you know. Um, same thing here. You know, cool little katana. This one's actually short. It looks like more of a wakasashi. Um, but, yeah, it's just one of those things. I mean, it's just cool for display, for me anyway. Um, let's see, nothing specific. I like Ulu style knives. These actually work very well. They work great on pizza. If you don't have an actual pizza peel, or not, not a peel, that's the thing you, you hold the pizza on, right? The pizza cutter, you know, a little rolling blade. Um, Ulu knives are awesome. I've used a, an Ulu knife that my grandfather brought me back from Alaska um, for years, years and years and years, just to, to cut pizza. It's just a fantastic thing. Obviously for vegetables as well, you can literally rock through the vegetables back and forth. It's just comfortable to use in the kitchen. I uh, never, you know, skinned a, a whale for blubber, <laughs> so I don't know, I mean, that's, I guess, what it was originally for. Um, anyway, these things are kind of cool, a little gimmicky, again, totally screams, you know, 13-year-old kid would want, like, a little stone box with a skull on it to keep your weed, hey, man, you can put your weed in there. Um, no interest. Uh, yeah, it's Rambo, first blood knife, I mean, I, if I can go back, I have to say, if I can go back in history... I would have started to collect all the Rambo knives because they're very cool just for display. Uh, as of right now, I do have the Rambo, uh, I forget what Rambo movie it was, but it's the massive, heavy, you know, machete style one that's like, it's seriously like an inch and a half thick. It's ridiculous. It's so heavy. Uh, even dull, it'll probably chop your fingers right off. Um, and I still plan to sharpen that one day. I want to sharpen that completely to see what kind of stuff I can cut. I think that'd be fun. Crossbows, definitely a lot of fun. Totally different hobby. Never got into them. Had a friend who had one uh, and loved playing with it when I was a teenager. That's about it. Um, this stuff I'd stay away from. I'm not even going to mention. I'm not even going to talk about it here. Uh, cheap, whatever this is, battery bank. I mean, all these, uh, these small, very, very uh, uh, cheap solar panels, just no good. Don't work. Um, generic little holster. It's fine, I guess, if you want to... Uh, you know, play airsoft and stuff, but if you're going to carry your firearm concealed every day, uh, you should probably invest in a decent holster and not something like this. Just my opinion. Cameras are cool. Love security system. Sometimes you can find some really cheap security stuff in these uh, catalogs. Uh, same thing, pellet guns, BB guns, I love them all. Every one of them is cool. Yes, some are better than others. Uh, the one I play with the most these days, and again, it's just to be able to shoot things, you know, more affordably than with regular ammo. But I have a uh, Glock 19 CO2 like blowback design. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll do a video on it in the future. But I got that in trade a while back, and I love it. Play with it all the time. Uh, not here, but when I go visit my uh, folks, where there's nothing to ricochet and, and hit the neighbor's cat. Uh, some more uh, stilettos here. These stilettos you see with this uh, back lock, you know, sticking up. More times than not, these are just manual. These are not automatic. I've had dozens and dozens of these when I was younger. But still really cool though. Uh, I do like uh, Kissing Crane. Kissing Crane is a fantastic brand for you know more affordable knives, uh, especially their slip joints and stuff. Let's see. Eh, I mean everyone wants to play Indiana Jones and have a cool whip. Um, but yeah, I mean I I've been there. I had the chain one that someone made me, which is really really fun, but it scares me to be honest. Whipping that thing around, I don't want to go blind or. Take off a chunk of my ear because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, stuff like this. I mean, if you're obviously like a war buff, you know, fake uh, grenades. And I mean, I've had fake pineapple grenades literally from Bud K before. Because, again, when you're 12 to 14 years old, that's the coolest thing in the world. Uh, as an adult, it can still be cool in an office and the, and the right little thing. If you got a military background and, you know, you got your awards and your, you know, plaques and uniform hanging on the wall and all this different stuff, you know. Yeah, it's appropriate to have a little pineapple grenade in the corner of your bookshelf. I can dig it. Um, I like this, like, SHTF tool. You know what I mean? This is really pushing pushing the marketing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if SHTF ever happens, you better have this tool. I'm just telling you right now. If you don't have this tool right here, you're out of luck. I don't know what to say. You just, I don't know, you've been wasting your time preparing all your food preps and ammo and everything else. I mean, because the carabiner knife multi-tool. You know what I'm saying? I'm laying it on pretty thick, the sarcasm. Hopefully you guys are picking it up. Um, I like the theme knives. You know, even, and you'll see, there's probably more in here, but I do like trappers, specifically trappers. 
And I've been trying to focus uh, lately more on just the case trappers, because I was, I was collecting all kinds of trappers, but I do love different themes, you know, different holidays, different ideas. There's one um, that I saw here before that I wanted at some point. It was uh, like an Easter one. And obviously, you know, happy belated Easter. Uh, I didn't make an Easter specific video, but I just, I like that kind of stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but I mean, this one says salvation on it. It has uh, Jesus and the cross and some religious stuff. I do like the cross shield. You know, if you're religious and that's your thing, I get it. That's cool. Um, cheap fixed blade, not worth your time. More fun. Um, this looks like a, a pump uh, air gun. Is it? Yeah, with a fake uh, suppressor on it. 540 feet per second. That's not too bad. That's definitely fun for a little target shooting. Again, sword. Cool. But run into it just like this one over here. That looks really fun to, to swing at stuff. You know. Um, what do we got here? These are nice. These magnetic mounts. I don't know this exact mount, but I do use a magnetic mount somewhere. I'm not going to say where. And it's been holding the gun ever since. It does work. We've got cheap uh, OTF here. People love their OTFs. I get messages all the time. Hey, I want to get an OTF. What should I get? I don't know. What's your budget? How much do you want it? You know, I always recommend people get something like this. This is 40 bucks. If you love the idea, because most people, when you get an OTF, you just want to play with it. You just want to open it and close it, open it and close it. You see it on video. You think it's cool. And then maybe you want to get like a quality one. You know, you get yourself a Benchmade or a Microtech or something, you know. Uh, the Hogue. I, I've been playing with my Hogue Mini uh, Excursion, I think it's called. I love that. It's just cool, but it works. It's an actual functional knife with a decent blade on it. Um, the cheap ones are totally fine, though. Don't go out and just spend five, six hundred dollars on an OTF because you want to go, you know, open and close it all day long. You know, th these will break eventually. You keep opening and closing it, especially if you use it, stab things with it, you know, cut a lot of stuff with it. It's going to break. Um, you know, but it's 40 bucks, you know. So, just one of those things. Highly recommend a strop. You guys hear me say it all the time, strop your knives. Strop them. People are like, strap? Let's talk about what, what strap. This happens to be a strap style strop, which is a mouthful. But I'm telling you, stropping your knives keeps you from having to sharpen them. You're just maintaining that edge. That's it. You're just micro polishing it, straightening it. It's just, it is where it's at. So trust me, strop your knives. This is interesting. I've seen this for years now. This is a shotgun made out of piping. And yeah, technically, I guess it's it's real. It's a gun for 155 bucks. Again, if I was 13, I would think that's pretty cool. Wow, a real gun. Well, now that I just can buy a real gun and I have real guns and been carrying real guns, it's one of those things where guns are cool. They're cool when you're 13, but they're always cool. Like I could be 80 and my guns are still going to be cool. I love guns. But once you have a respect for them and you really understand, like when you're an adult, it's different than when you're a kid. When you're a kid, it's like you see them in movies. It's like a big, scary thing. Like, oh, my God, a real gun? Real? Whoa. Uh, you know, I, I had that feeling when I had my first gun. You know, when I got my first gun passed down from my grandfather after he passed away, my great uncle gave it to me. And, and it was the gun that I, you know, traveled with my grandfather. And he always had on him his little Beretta, his little pocket pistol. Um... And I had that feeling literally for weeks. I I just handle it carefully, of course, and it would it was like mesmerizing, right? But you know, years and years later now, after carrying guns, it's like carrying my wallet. It's just a gun, you know. It's just a hunk of metal, shoot the bolts, you know. Um, so the allure of like it's scary and and you know this thing, it's just it's just a thing, you know. So like stuff like this, uh, I just think it's stupid now. <laughs> when I was thirteen, it would have been awesome. But now I'm like, that's stupid. I'd rather just get a shotgun, like a regular shotgun. So anyway, and what you can get for cheaper, you can get a, a nice break action single shot, 12 gauge for like a hundred bucks at a gun show all day long, which I'm hoping to do more gun shows in the future. That'd be cool. Maybe a meetup. Um, if I ever have, you know, attention to going, I'll, I'll try to make a video and maybe meet people who are in the area. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have guns. I, you know, I want more guns. It's just how it works, just like knives or any other hobby. Um, but I just obviously don't talk about it on YouTube as much because YouTube doesn't like it. That's just how that rolls. Um, all right, so what else we have? We have a little uh, hidden kind of knuckle duster thing here. A little keychain. We can, you know, stick your fingers in here and maybe, maybe not, you know, use it as a knuckle duster. These are cool. Knuckle dusters are awesome to collect and they're fun and stuff. And yes, you can actually use it to defend yourself, but why would you? Um, really, really think about it. Yeah, it's better than a fist, but... Where you live, it might be incredibly illegal to do that. Um, it's considered a, a lethal 
um, weapon. You know, you can easily kill someone if you hit them hard enough or in the proper spots, you know, with some kind of brass knuckles. So this is like literally like you're being attacked. You have nothing else at all. Otherwise, don't ever actually use this stuff, you know. Um, it's always going to be prepared. And I love different types of self-defense uh, weapons and tools and whatnot, but that's like one of the last things in the world I'd be using. You know, if SHTF actually hits, sure, I'll have one in my pocket to maybe crack some zombie skulls or something. But, uh, but yeah, that's not something you want to play around with uh, legally. Classic USMC knife. All right, this one's 20 bucks. This is not a K-Bar. Uh, this is just that style of knife, which is fine. You want to save some money? Get yourself one of these, 20 bucks. Great wall hanger. Great, uh, you know, historic design. Looks nice, you know. I, I wouldn't cut a bunch of stuff with it. Just saying. Uh, interesting little folder here. Another folder. I like this stuff. It doesn't really interest me all that much like it used to. The stun gun's cool, but again, knuckle duster, stun gun. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of, lot of gimmick in there, I guess. Uh, throwing knives. Love throwing knives. It's an interesting little folder. I like that design. It's kind of aggressive looking. It's got a D2 blade on there. Savage blend of style and function. It's savage. I've had many knives actually from this uh, Hansu, you know, branding or whatever it is. I have a Karambit uh, that I've had it from, for their... Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. I've had a Karambit from them that I've had for years. I used to keep it in, the, in between the seat. On, in my car, <laughs> my Chrysler 200. Um, yeah, another BB gun, pellet gun. There you got a little whittling tool. This is actually pretty cool. If you are into woodworking, it's nice. You got all your little different uh, shapes there that you need. Fun little goblet, if you're into that uh, kind of stuff. Security, like security stuff like this, I wouldn't bother outside lights like that. You can buy better stuff probably on Amazon. It's all Chinese made anyway, but yeah, you don't have to get it from Bud K. Bud K has uh, some unique things though. So here's the interesting, they put like a, a knuckle duster wartime handle on a traditional Kukri style blade. The Kukri trench knife, so they're kind of just combining fun, cool stuff. Trench knives, check, definitely cool. Kukri, check, definitely cool. Why not have it together? Check, check, double awesome, $56.99. It's in $10.95 though, that's nice, I do like $10.95, it's probably actually decently functional. Although it looks pretty small, this this guy's massive. I don't know. Does that look small to you? I wonder how big is it? 16 inches overall? Eh. Okay, well, it's not that small. Uh, bug net, these actually work really well. I actually want one of these. I want one of these little scoping cameras for all kinds of stuff. You can use that on your guns, check your bore out. Um, you know, look behind your sink if you have a leak in your kitchen. I mean, this is super handy. I, it's on my, my long list of stuff to just get, but that would definitely be fun. I like that. All right, um, batons. Batons are cool. I put them right up there with the brass knuckles, you know. For you to take a baton out and defend yourself, you have to be pretty skilled. Now, anyone could just go randomly swing and you can knock someone in the head, but you also could, uh, you know, kill them. That's no joke. That is lethal force. Taking this out is no different than a gun. If I uh, got into some altercation with someone and they wanted to whip out one of these... I'd probably chuckle a little bit, but I would definitely have drawn my gun at that point. And if they want to continue to walk close to me with this, I will shoot them dead. Absolutely, because this is a lethal weapon. All right, so you want to be on the gun side of things, not on the baton side of things. They're still cool. I have them. I just don't use them practically in any way. I just think they're cool. <sighs> An old pitcher Gil Hibben. Very sad. He passed away. He has so many different designs, so many fantasy knives. I mean, they're all cool. They're all very cool designs. He was a very talented uh, knife guy, um, you know, but heavily with the cheaper stuff, the wall hangers, you know. Um, again, another strop here for 22 bucks. That's, that's a nice one. A little bit shorter, looks like, than the other one. This one's 18. Oh, no, 18 inches long. That's plenty, plenty long. Two inches wide. Definitely worth uh, trying out. The uh, gas mask here. This is the go-to. <laughs> uh, this is like the, I don't know, the preppers beginner kit. You know, how many preppers out there? Raise your hand if you have a gas mask. Just one. One gas mask with probably a military surplus filter. Just one. Not for your whole family. If you got, hey, if you got gas masks that are functional for your whole family, kudos to you. 
Uh, I'm that guy though. I, I have two gas masks <laughs> and it's for me and Christina. So at least we have the two of us, but you know, I'd prefer to have my whole family. I just never put that much priority on it. But more importantly than the masks is the filters. If you own a gas mask, you probably owe it to yourself to go buy some, some actual uh, filters, like some spare filters so you can continuously use it if need be. Um, and also, you know, the filter that may have come with it, if it's, you know, opened or something contaminated, then obviously the whole thing's useless. But, you know, I get it. It's cool. You know, it's, uh, oh, war's coming. We've got to have a gas mask. I remember how cool it was the first time I got a gas mask back when I was like, I don't know, 12 maybe? I asked for stuff like this for Christmas. My mom, she looked at me like I have, you know, 10 eyes. She's like, what do you want? <laughs> She's like, Chris is rolling around. You want a bicycle or something? New basketball? You know, you want a new knife for your collection? Even a knife was like a weird thing to give a kid for Christmas, right? No. Uh, I want, well, I do want new knives. That's, that's a given. But I also want a gas mask. And I, I want, uh, you know, a fake grenade. And I want, <laughs> looking at me like, seriously? But they were cool parents. And they still are. I have to say, because I got the grenade for Christmas. I got the gas mask for Christmas. So kudos to mom and dad if you're watching. All right, what else we got? Um, very cool. Beretta style blowback. This is a little more expensive, 170 bucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, these, these pellet guns and stuff, they can get pretty darn realistic. And, and they are fun. Like, if you can't own a regular gun, I mean, this is the closest you're going to get to it. Um, you know, you can have some fun target shooting still. It's just with uh, BBs and pellets. Um, I've seen this for years and years. A little gas, old gas station petrol, you know, uh, uh, liquor dispenser. I'm at a loss for words. 25 bucks. It's cool. Like, you know, if you got a man room in a bar or something, it's pretty neat. And they're also showing here coffee flavoring as well. <laughs> so even if you don't drink liquor, you can put your uh, coffee flavoring in there. I suppose you can put whatever you want in there. Throwing knives, I love it. 30 bucks a set. I love all throwing knives. I haven't actually thrown knives in a while. Uh, I should get into that again. I, I love stuff like this. So stupid. So stupid. But I, I would love it. I don't know why. I would never spend money on it. This is 28 bucks. Again, I'm not 13 anymore. But, like, it's just wicked. Wicked. So, I don't know why I still want stuff like that. Um... Anyway, nothing special there. More pellet guns, BB guns, bear spray it can actually be very functional for for animals or people if need be. Uh, there's another ad. I get this to bend. There we go. Um, another little ad for that flashbang thing. So yeah, you get. I mean, each time you use it, I'm assuming you're destroying the case. That's why you have to have extra cases. But like I said, it's probably plastic. Peace pipe is pretty neat. It caught me when I was 14, 15. I'd definitely be smoking out of that thing. Um, this is, wow, gimmick city. You got your, your blade shooting out of your, you know, coat jacket. <laughs> All right, what else we have here? Um, this is the stupidest thing as well. Concealed weapons badge. So you can put your concealed weapons permit in there. No, no, no. This is very, like, wannabe cop. You want to be a cop go train be a cop there's a, a huge need in america for more police but don't don't do that don't think like you're something special because it shouldn't be special to have to get a concealed carry permit but even if you do have one good for you but you should probably just keep it to yourself it's not something to advertise or you know flash your wallet open like you're some csi detective or something you know uh, busting wide open a case all right non-lethal self-defense what is this CO2 cartridges, pepper spray gun. So this is shooting a, a shot of pepper spray. Yeah, that's, that's a terrible idea. And I'll tell you why. You take anything out of your pocket that looks like a gun, anyone you're pointing it out, if they have a real gun, they could shoot you legally. Because guess what? They could just say, I thought it was a real gun. And just because it's orange doesn't mean anything. Even if your tip is orange, I could take a, a real gun right now and paint the tip orange. It doesn't mean anything at all. Um, you know, especially... People customize their guns and make them all kinds of colors and stuff. So it doesn't matter. You can whip out a, a Duck Hunter Nintendo gun, you know, and you point at the right person. You're getting shot. Sorry. Um, seed bank. That's always a good thing to have if you're a prepper. You know, make sure you can build a garden. If for some reason the world ends tomorrow, you can maybe grow some food. Um, nunchucks. Totally fun. Can uh, fault anyone who wants nunchucks. 
what else we got going on in here that's an interesting looking uh, uh, bow and arrow set hmm okay um, automatic lock pick I have to say I, I never had this one when I was a, a kid I did a lot of lock picking stuff and you know just very amateur level and I always thought I'd, I'd want this I don't know if you have this gun let me know is it actually more helpful than just using a tensioner uh, you know separately I don't know you can let me know I know some people are really into uh, lock picking stuff these things work by the way I had one of these when I was a kid you can definitely a supersonic ears you, you could definitely hear a conversation from like you know half a mile away pretty cool for like you're at the park and you're just like really really nosy <laughs> I guess these are awesome I use these all the time all right this is the big one I like actually the smaller ones that hold like a dozen or so but yeah these are awesome cases some people ask me all the time too you know I'm starting to accumulate a knife collection what do I do I mean if they're super expensive knives maybe not this case because even though there's these uh, felt flaps um there's still a chance they can kind of rub on each other especially if you really pack them side by side the problem is that there's a piece of elastic here, but like if you put a fat knife here, it's already stretched out. Then you put another one next to it that's pretty big, it's, it's stretching out more. And then this one is so tight that you're going to rip it in order to use it. Does that make sense? So these are cool if you have flatter, smaller slip joints or something. But once you bulk them out with, with bigger knives, I've had bad experiences with them, you know, breaking and ripping and tearing and stuff. More crap that I want for no reason. That's basically, I don't know, 50% of this catalog. Same thing, like, there's a shoulder holster here. It's 80 bucks. I don't know. I can't speak to the quality of it, you know. Um, if you guys ever got a shoulder holster at a Bud K, it just it doesn't seem like the first place I'd go if I want a shoulder rig. You know what I mean? And if you already spend 80 bucks, why not spend 100 bucks or 150 bucks on someone's custom setup they can make you, you know? I don't know. We got some paperweights here. Beat down paperwork. <laughs> I like the advertisement. That's smart. But hey, 10 bucks. Super fun, right? These are cast metal as well. It's not like it's plastic. That's hard to beat for, for 10 bucks if you just want a pair. I love stuff like this. I've had this forever. Little knives hidden in pens. So, geez, we're only at the halfway point. Ammo. That's right. A couple years back, Bud K started uh, producing uh, ammo. Here's 20 round boxes of 223 Tulla for 10 bucks a box. Dang, 50 cents a shot for Tula. Tula, excuse me. Not Tula, Tula. Um, yeah, I haven't bought ammo in a while. It's not a great price, but who knows what's a good price. You guys could probably tell me. Um, I do like the fake phone uh, taser thing. It's cool. Again, this is not something you're using unless you have, like, no other choice possible. All right? Because some people might take a taser shot right to the neck and not care. They will look at you extra mad. Um, yeah, some medieval looking stuff on this page. Pretty neat, I guess. Uh, I do like the original uh, World War II trench style knife. This is just a great piece to have. Like, if you, and this is something else too with these knives that are like just lower quality. This is representing a piece of history. It's a piece of, of knife or cutlery history. It's a piece of war memorabilia. You know, it, you don't have to get a real one and spend hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars. For 25 bucks, you hang this on the wall, it looks great, you know? I mean, if you ever need it to actually use it, it doesn't matter the steel on here, it's gonna do its job, okay? <laughs> Just, let's make that clear. All right, what else we have going on here? Oh, there's another duster. All right, add power to your punch. Constructed of half pound of solid brass for 18 bucks. Made in the USA as well. How about that? I don't know, can they prove that's made in the USA? I don't know. Here's a, <laughs> so distracted by this. Um, here's like a uh, pro Second Amendment um, trapper. Like this is a trapper I, I'm, you know, immediately drawn to just because there's a gun for the shield on the knife, which is kind of cool. You know, support the right to bear arms. God, guts, and guns. Sometimes the pro Second Amendment stuff comes across a little strong. You know, like I, I am strongly for the Second Amendment, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. Some of the stuff is just like a little a little yeehaw for me. Um, but some of it's more classy and, and cooler. But I'm always for it. Like this, again, is a knife. I like the black scales, the little jigged uh, black scales. I'm not sure what they're even using for material there. Uh, just as black handle scales. 
But I mean, for 20 bucks, it, again, it's not a priority right now. But this is a knife, like if I saw it at a flea market or something, I'd buy it for 20 bucks. I think it's cool. And it is an important message. Again, wall hangers, but for 80 bucks to keep this in an office or something, looks cool. I had a set, different colors, totally different colors, but I got it for like 65 bucks way back in the day. Had it for years. Um, maybe I hit something with it and it broke. I don't remember. I don't know why I don't have it anymore. So it had to have broken at some point. I don't remember giving it to anyone. Yeah, there's some more stuff. It's hard. I mean, like I said, not everything in here is exciting for me. Um, they're all cool in their own little ways, you know. Here's another kind of hidden, um, you know, self-defense knuckle duster in a way. If you, if you hit someone with that, it would hurt them. It would definitely damage them. But if it's just hard. It's weird because these things that are made to, like, you know, be subtle. And by the way, that's not subtle, nor is it comfortable. But if you actually had to use that to defend yourself, you know, how does that look in court? These uh, keychains that are designed to really use as knuckle dusters. I mean, a decent lawyer would point that out. That this is, you know, you know something you're carrying to hurt someone. Whether it's defensive or not, you know. So it's just it's just one of those things. I wouldn't want that headache. I mean, it's better. And I, I will stick this to the day I die. It is better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. But sometimes you got to really think about how you're going to be judged. Just saying. Uh, handcuffs are cool. Um, I have handcuffs. I have a couple pairs of handcuffs. Why? I don't know. But I do. What else we got going on here? Blow guns. That is a day of fun right there. Get yourself some nice blow guns. Cold Steel, I don't know if they still make them. They had their own line of them. They were really awesome and decently cheap and they had a ton of different uh, types of dart uh, options too, like little stunners and little broadheads. They were really cool. Very cool stuff. But this is a ton of fun. Um, but, you know, try to be mature. Back in the day when I had blow guns and me and my friends would play them. I remember I shot my friend in the foot on accident. On accident, okay, I was just playing around, and it, it, it barely, it like the, it went plip, and like it wasn't like I shot it out far. I put my mouth on the mouthpiece there, and I just I was kind of practicing what I'm gonna do, but I, I blew into it just a little bit, and it went bloop, and it landed in his shoe, and it, it cut his foot. I forget if it was like his toe or the top of his foot or whatever, but it just went barely into his shoe and poked him, and he's like, "Hey, what the heck?" You know, he didn't say what the heck, but. Took his shoe off and his, his foot was bleeding just ever so slightly. And he's like, well, now I got to shoot you. Because that seems fair, right? <laughs> so I'm like, dude, it was an accident. No, 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 man. I got to shoot you now. It's fair. And I'm like, all right, well, I don't want you to shoot me in the foot. So I'm like, why don't you shoot me in the butt cheek? Because I figure, you know, how much can that hurt? You know, it's a big old flap of fat, right? <laughs> See, when I was a kid, I had a fat butt cheek. So um, he's like, okay. And uh, he shot it, but he didn't barely shoot it like I did. He went, Phew! okay, and the thing stuck in like that much. And, of course, he was cracking up, and I was screaming and pulled it out, and I had a little blood spot in my, my pants. But that's what you do when you're really dumb teenagers. I don't recommend that at all, okay? So, anyway, moving on. We got the advertisements that fall out. Actually, you know what's really funny? When I was a kid... And I get these magazines and catalogs and stuff, and I go to open them, and these things would fall out. And they'd be like, oh, this garbage. Well, guess what? I want this Gold Eagle more than anything in this whole catalog. I have one, but I want more. I love this whole stack right here. Uh, by the way, never, ever try to buy your gold through an advertisement on a Bud K magazine, okay? So let's see. Uh, oh yeah, eighteen fifteen each. That's fantastic. And what's the asterisk say? Never. Where's the asterisk lead? Where is it? I don't even see it on here. It's got to be here somewhere. Little asterisk. It, it, I'm sure it's. Oh, here we go. All right. Call Nationwide Coins today and take advantage of of our at cost introductory offer of up to one fifty dollar gold eagle at the incredible price. It is incredible. Of only eighteen hundred and fifteen dollars per coin. So wait, I see the asterisk again, but where does it lead to? The point of the asterisk is it gives you additional information somewhere else. Where's that somewhere else? Oh, here we go. There it is in the back. Advertised price at time of printing. 
Uh, ad creation date was 2-7-2022. Actual price may be higher or lower due to fluctuations in the gold market. Call for lowest at cost price. Yeah, sure. So you call them up and they're like, yeah, it's going to be 2500 bucks. So anyway, that's garbage. Move that off to the side. Alrighty. Daisy BB gun. You got to. You got to do it. This is actually pretty neat. I was just talking about how, you know, I like some trappers. And this is a Gil Hibben anniversary trapper. That's pretty neat. I like that. All right. What else we got going on here? Um, I do like this kind of throwback. That is also pretty neat. A BB gun. But uh, 142 bucks. The problem is, you know, 142 bucks. that's a lot of money, you know? And you get like, again, broke teenagers look through these catalogs, you know? And uh, I remember back in the day wanting stuff like this. Hey, Ma, hey, Dad. Well, how much? Uh, it's only $141.99. No, can't have it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a, it's a lot of money. It was a lot of money back then. It's still a lot of money for a toy. That's what this is, a toy. Uh, of course, if you're an adult looking through here, you're like, oh, 150 bucks, no big deal. But, you know, a lot more teenagers than adults looking through this, I would imagine. Or who knows, maybe it's all the teenagers from then that are all adults now. Maybe teenagers now don't even get, don't even know this catalog. I don't know. Bandoliers are cool. I have a bandolier. Why? I just told you. It's cool. That's why. Uh, if you do like those sword hangers, uh, or you do like the wall hangers, I should say, for swords. These are cool racks. I actually had a rack like this at some point, and I had a couple longer um, fixed blades and, and BB guns on there. Um, would never buy a cheap weapons light, because if you have it on a weapon you're actually using, then uh, it'd probably fail the, the day you needed it. So I would recommend that. I had these. I had these at some point. Uh, playing card shaped um, throwing knives. I remember those specifically. Oh, I like these, <laughs> these rifle sights. How about that? Um, yeah. More lock picking stuff. Ooh, that's quite fascinating. A replica pepper box. It is a functional black powder gun. That's pretty neat, actually. 270 bucks. Is it 270 bucks neat? Yeah, to someone it is. But for 270 bucks, I'd probably buy another mouse gun or something, you know, or put it towards, uh, you know, probably more precious metals, to be honest. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is the exact one I have. The uh, Umarex. This is the, the Glock 19. Is this, are they saying it's the 19? No, this is the 17. I have the 19 version of this, though. Fantastic. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe this isn't the exact same one, because the one that I got, I saw, they had, I got it in trade, but I've seen it for like 70 bucks on Amazon, and like 75 or 80 at like Dick's Sporting Goods and, you know, places like that. But yeah, they can be very realistic. So if you can't have the real thing, it's pretty close. Way cooler than the, um, you know, the BB guns of my day that didn't look like regular guns at all. They definitely look like BB guns. I do like the hobo design. That's uh, super cool. Again, uh, Kiss and Crane, not too bad at all for 37 bucks. Be fantastic for camping. We got uh, kids in the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts. That'd be a fun one to have. Um, these things are very <laughs> useful. I have Caltrops that are like them. Not this exact design, but you can get pretty creative with stuff like that. And then for all the medieval fans, I got your medieval weapons and whatnot. That, was, that one seems pretty neat. Got some shotgun ammo there, and you got, oh, look at this. Home defense weapon. Comes with rubber. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible idea. Let me tell you something. Okay, I'm looking at this up here. This is, uh, they're, they're saying ready to use home defense weapon. Absolutely not. Okay, you use a fake double barrel shotgun and shoot rubber bullets with, what is this even powered by, CO2? Hold on, let's see. Yeah, CO2. They're going to either laugh in your face, okay, or just smack you like the little lady that you are. No, no. That is a, that is a no-go, okay? Not for home defense. For fun, sure. Do whatever you want for fun, but not, not for home defense. Oh, this is pretty neat. I like this. It's kind of hippy-dippy trapper. I can dig that for sure. All right, so that is it. 
I'm wiped. There's a, really a lot to talk about. <laughs> and, you know, half the time when they, they come out, like, in, like maybe two months from now, I'll get another one of these. It'll be the exact same stuff that's shuffled in a different order to make it look like there's new stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. Once in a blue moon, there is actually new stuff. But there you go. There's a Bud K walkthrough. My opinions on the stuff. It is still very much uh, like 99% gimmick. But it's cool. You know, that's the point of a gimmick, right? You just you want something because it's neat. Um, there are definitely some quality blades you can get in there if you're not looking to use them very hard. There's a lot of fun stuff you can get in there. A lot of toys, man toys. Uh, but, you know, it's still very much Bud K. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys get a Bud K catalog. You, you know, sit on the toilet and kind of thumb through the whole thing. Uh, it's usually where it is. Good bathroom material. But that's about it. Uh, I do once in a blue moon. Once in a, and I say that like, r like realistically, maybe once a year. If not once every two years, do order something from Bud K. I couldn't off the top of my head tell you what it is, but yeah, once in a while. And a long, long while. So that's all. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.